I'm Tom Frolick. I'm the, uh, the co-founder and former chief operating officer of Chinook Therapeutics. I grew up here in Vancouver. I'm BC born and raised and, and love it here. Uh, studied biochemistry at, uh, at university at, for my undergrad. I loved science, thought I was gonna have a whole career in science, but worked in the lab a couple of summers and realized I had absolutely no talent for it. And I was also very curious about business. He's absolutely Lord of the dad jokes. Our kids know his jokes inside and out and they've heard them all a million times, but he's great at bringing levity and lightness to otherwise stressful situations. Tom has got a great personality. He brings humor to everything he does. Um, he's unflappable. Despite being incredibly ambitious and, and, and probably tightly wound at his core, you'd never know that on the surface. The first time I met Tom, I knew he was someone who built rapport incredibly quickly. Uh, it's one of his superpowers. He has a remarkable perspective. He's been in the field selling drugs to patients. He's been in marketing. He's been in large pharma, he's been in small biotech, he's tried to start small biotechs. So that breadth of experience, especially in Vancouver, is incredibly rare. And I think Tom leveraged all of that as he thought about how do we envision what Chinook can become. Tom is unfailingly kind. He is the first to welcome someone new. He's the first to make people feel comfortable. He is the most popular person I've ever met for a reason. Everyone loves Tom. Chinook was actually formed by Versant Ventures, a venture capital firm that very heavily operating in Canada. And they had a very talented team here with Inception Sciences in Vancouver. We didn't know really what we wanted to work on. During the incubation phase for Chinook, we went through about 25 ideas. And it was really a Darwinian process where the best idea was gonna come out at the end. Uh, when Tom came into the Versant team to pitch the idea of Chinook, the first slide said, the time is now for precision medicine and renal disease. That was a provocative statement at the time. Kidney disease has been an underserved area for a long time. It's become um, a more active area of drug development. I think Chinook was one of the early companies to pave the way. Kidney disease is probably one of the biggest unmet needs of, of pharmaceutical medicine today up to 10% of the population at some point will have a, a kidney disease. But despite this fact, there's very few medicines that can prevent the progression of, of disease. People think, oh, well, there's always a backstop. You can always get dialysis, but it's very disruptive to your life. And median survival for kidney disease patients on dialysis is around five years. So it's worse in many cases than having metastatic cancer. And then ultimately, if they have to progress to transplant, you know, being on anti-rejection meds for the rest of their lives is a huge medical burner, as well as, of course, finding a kidney donor. That's why we launched Chinook to really develop new drugs that prevent that progression of disease uh, and hopefully eliminate uh, dialysis and transplant. The early days of a company like this are always, when you look back at them, really fun and exciting and you sometimes wonder, how did we ever pull that off? We were this little company with 20 employees, a small amount of capital, and we were going to a big pharma and saying, we want to take this drug and license it from you and develop it ourselves. Avi had obviously studied atrocentin in over 5,000 patients. It was shown to be very safe and efficacious in lowering protein urea. We just made a pitch and we were able to convince them and Tom did a fantastic job negotiating that deal, which was really the cornerstone of Chinook. Chinook realized the potential for a specific disease for this drug, namely IgA nephropathy, in which protein urea is very highly correlated with the progression of kidney disease. We showed in an early phase two trial that it dramatically lowers proteinuria, which is a surrogate marker for disease progression. So we really have the hope that when the phase three trial reads out fully, that we'll show that it's preventing the progression of, of kidney disease. The 
The way we built Chinook was not traditional. We were a research team with several preclinical programs, and then we in-licensed a phase three ready drug from AbbVie. We needed to raise a lot more capital. We merged with Aduro, we took over their NASDAQ listing, we changed the name of the company to Chinook. We raised about $100 million in a pipe, and then we used their $250 million in cash. When we read out the phase two initial data for Atrocentin, and saw that the, the results were extremely clinically meaningful. And that was just a moment where, you know, all of the hard work, the hours of blood, sweat, and tears, licensing the product, funding the program, building the team, launching the clinical trial, uh, it all just felt like, oh, it's paid off. This drug is actually doing what we thought it was going to do. We were planning to have data from Atrocent and phase three data in the fall. So we thought we're probably pretty safe from someone buying us because pharmas generally don't jump in ahead of a, a binary event like that. But the CEO of Novartis called me and, and made an offer out of the blue to buy the company. We were trading at a, in the high teens at that point and he offered $28 a share. That started a process. We continually said that's not enough. They raised their price multiple times from $28 up to ultimately $40 plus $4 in contingent value rights. So a total value of $3.5 billion. Tom always believed and had faith in Chinook's inevitable success. But this deal with Novartis brought things to a quicker pace than I think anyone had anticipated. Only five and a half years ago started has already filed a new drug application with the FDA and then got acquired for $3.5 I mean, that's a huge, huge success story. I think Chinook shows that we can do this in Canada. We can, we can build companies from scratch. We can build companies that matter. We can develop products all the way towards commercialization. I think it's just an incredible proof point and case study for what leadership in Canada can do if they set their mind to it. As a founder of, of Chinook, I, I just couldn't be more proud of everything that we accomplished 